Hello, it's me, Yvonne, your local non-binary witch, and I want to talk about the fact that there are many, many polytheists in Wicca, including me, and Wicca is compatible with polytheism, and yet this is never discussed in books on Wicca, and very rarely in books on witchcraft in general. So. Um, the other day I posted a tweet on Twitter and said hey does anyone know of any books on polytheist witchcraft or wicca and got the usual response no there's no such thing as polytheist wicca well let me tell you there is because I have written books from a polytheist perspective about wicca and witchcraft and also acknowledged the possibility that other people may have different theological perspectives. So where did this misconception that um, that Wicca is duotheist, i.e. two gods, um, come from? Well, not really sure, although um, it's in a vast number of books on Wicca and it's probably getting perpetuated in books on witchcraft in general as well. Um, but on the other hand, the vast majority of initiated Wiccans that I have met are not duotheist. They have various different theological perspectives, um, but I've never actually met an actual duotheist. So some of them are like what you might call soft polytheists or polymorphists, so the idea that um, there's an underlying divine energy and it manifests in a number of different ways. Um, there are animists, occasionally pantheists, maybe monists, um, but I honestly haven't met anyone who actually thinks that there's one god and one goddess. Um, right, so there's also henotheists, would be, uh, they are people who um, are aware that there are many deities, but they practice the cult of two deities. That's totally legit. Um, but I've never actually met an actual died in the world duotheist in initiatory wicca. Um, so why do all most of the books about wicca tell us that it's the worship of a god and a goddess? Right? It just doesn't make sense. Um, so I'd like to tell you about my books, which uh, do not um, make that assumption. Uh, in All Acts of Love and Pleasure, Inclusive Wicca, uh, I left the whole question of theology to your discretion. Um, I basically said that Wiccans can have multiple different theologies, sometimes, you know, more than one in a day. Um, because I once asked a question on a forum or a Facebook post or something to say, um, right, okay, so who here is a polytheist or an animist or a or a pantheist or a duotheist or whatever? And one person put all of the above. So <laughs> that's how I know that you can have more than one theology per person. Um, so um, I also want to tell you about my books in um, so my other books um, there's Dark Mirror the inner work of witchcraft which is very definitely written from a polytheist point of view and there is um, The Night Journey Witchcraft as Transformation also written from a polytheist point of view um, and they are published by the Dorian Valiente Foundation and you can get them from their online shop or from all online retailers so I want to know if anyone knows of any other books that are actually about polytheism in Wicca or witchcraft. Um, and please don't post a recommendation in the comments unless you have actually read the book yourself, um, because I'm perfectly capable of Googling, thank you. Um, so I want to know, you know, does the book either not make the assumption that um, that everyone is duotheist 
or does it explicitly mention a range of different theologies that that you can subscribe to um and also if it's a witchcraft book or a wicca book specifically because obviously wicca is a subset of witchcraft uh, not a synonym for it and um, and the two things overlap um yeah so and if you are an author I, and then i challenge you to write about theology in an inclusive way that includes polytheists and animists and pantheists and other theologies and not to make the assumption and not to perpetuate the assumption that Wicca is duotheist because it really isn't. So thank you very much for listening to my rant and have a nice day. Blessed be.